And welcome to the latest anime news for the week ending January 2nd, 2021. We are in a new year, so let's talk about <laughs> the news of the week. Um, well, as of this week, the inevitable has finally occurred. The Demon Slayer Mugen Train film has surpassed Spirited Away to become the highest earning film in Japan of all time. Of all time. Oh As of God. Sunday, it's 73rd day at the box office. 73rd day at the box office. Mugen Train has sold more than 24 million tickets, earning 32.5 billion yen. Um, Spirit Away earned 30.8 in its original one in 2002, but has increased that total to 31.7 billion after the revival screenings last summer. Um, and presumably, since there are no more records to break, the official Twitter account uh, for Demon Slayer also announced this week that it will no longer be posting weekly box office updates for Mugen Train. Yeah. And that fans can check the official uh, Kyogyo Tushin box office news service for future oh updates. Goodness. The films remain at number one in the box office every weekend for the 11 it has been out so far, which also makes it the first film to top the J Japanese box office for 10 straight weekends since uh, uh, Kogyo Tushin began publishing those rankings back in 2004. Um, three films previously ranked number one for nine straight weekends, if you're curious. Uh, Howl's Moving Castle in 04, Avatar in 09, and Your Name in 2016. That's, yeah, um, that's Avatar James Cameron, not Avatar. And of course, a great anime requires a great theme song. So it's no surprise that Lisa's Homura, the theme to Mugen Train, has also been topping the chart since its debut. It is now the longest running number one single on the Oricon Weekly Digital Sales Ranking chart with 11 weeks at number one. <laughs> and is the third ever single to rank number one on that chart for more than six weeks and the first by female artist. Wow, cool. Also, it also topped Oricon's weekly streaming chart for eight out of those 11 weeks. And is the first song, first song to be streamed over 10 million times per week for nine straight weeks. Wow. The, <laughs> the 62nd Japan Record Awards were also held on Wednesday of this week. And Homura won Song of the Year, one of the highest honors in the Japanese music industry. The Record Awards are run by the, by the Japan uh, Composers Association. Um, the awards previously announced in November that the original Demon Slayer, uh, Kimetsu no Yaiba, won one of the Special Achievement Awards, that is the original TV series, which honor people or works that have gained widespread attention and appreciation. I think Demon Slayer counts. Holy smokes. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh, no words. <laughs> Should have no done a poem. Words. I know. It's, it's nuts. Um, no freaking words. Now, does this go. mean with the 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 studio folks behind all of this, all the animators, mm. everybody, all the sound people, you know, all the animator runners, everybody, that they are fantastically rich now, or is this, yes, they, oh, sir, oh, of course, or yes. they're just gonna pour yes, this I... back into something that will be yeah. even more incredible? Mm. Neither, sadly. Um, it's probably the shameful part. Yeah, um, there'll be a documentary on Netflix following the Netflix live version action of the yes, <laughs> yeah, uh -huh. that's gonna happen. The gonna song happen. and dance ice. version, <laughs> <laughs> followed by the musical mm -hmm. and the ice capades. Yeah. Oh, oh gosh, <laughs> um, that's a YouTube rabbit hole to go down. By the way, some days you know, weird ice capades. Yeah, oh. yeah. F film of bizarre, you know, Snoopy ice capades from nineteen. John Waters, the ice capades. <laughs> no. <laughs> oh. Someone oh. say it was divine. Oh. oh. Moving wow. right along. <laughs> Moving right along. Oh, jeez. Um, cry, baby. Come on now. <laughs> starting your, on the nineteenth of, of this month, <laughs> art community website Pixiv will be collaborating with Evangelion for the next six months to hold various contents and, uh, contests and art collections under the theme of Evangelion in various circumstances. Ahead of this upcoming collab, Evangelion Studio Kara has posted some guidelines on how the franchise can and cannot be used in fan content. These guidelines are only for fan works, not commercial companies, and Kara asks any companies wishing to use the Eva property to contact them. They do clarify that fans using services like Patreon and YouTube may use video and audio as quotations on monetized content, as long as the content isn't solely Evangelion, which is kind of interesting. 
As well as the understandable no monetization guidelines for fan works, they ask that, the, that these fan works not promote racism, bigotry, or be for or against any kind of politics. They also can't be grotesque or too violent, good luck, infringe on the rights of others, or, and this is where the guidelines have already been broken the most, you guessed it, pornographic. Good luck with that. As well as being an extremely popular subject for online fan art of all kinds, the series has always been a staple at Dojinchi events like Kamaket, where some of the fan-made materials are definitely not safe for work. <laughs> After the initial posting of the guidelines, Studio Kara made a series of clarifying tweets as they were concerned that their intention had been distorted through some of the reporting. They reaffirmed that they love the fandom very much. Um, and are not at all prohibiting fan works. These guidelines are only meant to be basic policy so that everyone who's creating fan works can do so with peace of mind. <laughs> they also ask the fans read all the guidelines for themselves directly. <laughs> it's why? Be, it's, it's rule 34 all over the place. It's, yeah, I, know. Be, I mean, it's just going to be... Here's the thing. They're going to find loopholes. They're going to be like, well, how, how small can we make the sensor bar? No, well, but, stop. No, you know. <laughs> but I mean, I mean, there are tens of thousands yeah. of not safe for work Evangelion images on Pixiv now alone. Right. Uh, and also, like, it's, it's guidelines. It's just a company saying, please don't do this. Like, it's not a law. Yeah, I, I just I, I, I can, can, can. Can you just see the poor person who's gonna have to wade through all that stuff and go and it'd be like, it'd be like, okay, here's what's acceptable, acceptable, acceptable. Ooh, no, 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 not really. Oh, acceptable, no. acceptable. Oh my God, no. You know, good God, no. What, what trash, are trash, 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 trash. Personal, personal yeah. file. Where'd that go? Uh, <laughs> yeah. Did I say personal file? I meant say trash. And, uh -huh. and, and, and then at say the end of it, trash. that person is gonna go. So you're. Paying for the therapy, right? Mm -hmm. Gonna pay. Oh, the therapy. oh. You, you know, Evangelion attracts a certain kind of art. Let's yeah. be honest. Yes. Yeah, um, because Os you know, Oscar in her things. plug suit, uh, Ray in her plug suit. Things happen in those you movies. Look, look, this is uh, folks, in his plug suit. Uh, but, uh, folks, this is one of those things where you can just be really totally innocent mm -hmm. and just say, "Ray, I am I." Mm -hmm. Type it into Google. And what's the first thing that's going to come up? Not what you want. No. Yeah. Uh, um, gonna, let me go, here it is. And you're going to be like going, uh, Yep. <laughs> um, and, yeah, yeah get right out of my plug suit. Um, no, there's, there's, I mean, and, yeah. and this, this is a weird psychological anime series that deals with weird people. Um, and so that attracts a certain kind of art as well. Of just odd things happening with people, and yeah, um, it's odd. Um, Wesley, I would love to hear your your further thoughts on the Demon Slayer movie since you just came back from watching it. Please oh. tell us everything. Yes. Um, Spoilers included. Heck, why not? Um, but yeah, no. Um, here, I can only assume this is basically two things. Um, this is. I think these are basically guidelines for this collab with Pixiv. I think basically Pixiv and Kara got together and said, okay, let's do a Pixiv collab. Do we just take everything? Oh, no, no, we can't just let anything go into the contest. And then Kara's like, all right, well, mm, we have to establish a policy. We have to find, figure out what the line is and draw that line. And it doesn't matter if people cross the line. Like, we're not going to do anything if they cross the line. We just can say they've crossed the line. Right. That's not right. in the contest. That's not right. in the cold. Or whatever. That's out. Mm -hmm. What's that? Well, this is, this is the weird thing, is that, and I haven't dug into this in, in incredible detail. Um, these are not guidelines for the contest specifically. This is just guidelines for how Evangelion can be presented in fan works. So it sounds like they're trying to say, you know, for your peace of mind, don't draw these characters in adult situations. And it's like, it's, it's going to happen. 
Yeah. Um, this will it's going badly. to. It's already happened. It's been happening for decades. Yeah. Um, exactly. As a and, matter of fact, at this moment, and, it's happening. Yep. And He's let's not right forget. Now. Let's not forget. Gynax was suffering. Gyna well, they weren't suffering. Gynax was having financial difficulties after Evan Gillen came out. And you know how they made a whole bunch of money after Evangelion came out? Their first video game property? Their first digital property? You guys know what that was? That was a game of strip poker involving the Evangelion characters. They literally <laughs> saw these games out there and said, Hey, the art's all terrible. We can do better than this. And so they came out with that, that game, and it sold like gangbusters. So I'm like... Seriously, Gynax, and obviously Kara Gynax, different things, but still, it's like, mm, very then weird. Then Pachinko took off, and everything was just <laughs> money everywhere. Right, and then exactly went off, the, the, the slot machine. Um, that, that's where the real money is. Oh, Literally, that's where the real money is <laughs> on these things. Um, so now what we have to do is adult Pachinko machines. So that, that, that's sure how that, yeah. I'm sure there's a pachinko <laughs> parlor somewhere yeah, in a little back street is. that is mm -hmm. right now. Oh man. Um, so it it's odd. I you know again I understand guidelines for a contest. I understand kind of a company coming out and saying, hey, here's what we prefer. Right. But it seems especially for such a long-standing franchise that has had so much urgency about it, you know, for so long. It kind of feels like that is a genie that's not going back in that bottle. I don't know. Yeah. They're very late oh. to this guideline. <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. <laughs> but then in all fairness, you know what? It, probably that should be like slapped on the front end of like how many brand new series, brand yeah. new mangas, brand new anything yeah. that comes out. Be well, like, hey, <clears throat> that's a way, great point. Don't do anything crazy with our stuff. That's a great point. I do wonder if this is going to establish a precedent of people saying, okay, hey, get, hey everyone, just FYI. Here's what we request. Just don't send us this stuff, um, or don't publicize this stuff. And again, it's not going to stop it from existing, but it will at least kind of set some boundaries. Right. Um, it allows them to sort of divorce themselves from the, yeah, divorce themselves from the dark corners. Like, nope. Well, I remember we didn't do anything. We just told people not to do that, and then we just walked away. Well, I remember um, when Babylon Five was coming out. The um, the head of that JMS, he was. Um, active on fan sites and he was active on on the internet and he said here's the thing just don't t give me any ideas for babylon 5 i'm not going to reveal spoilers to you do not send me your ideas because then if they show up in the show even accidentally that gets us right. legal issues all sorts of stuff and he said but as long as we abide by this contract i won't reveal future stuff to you you don't send your your plot ideas to me. We can still interact. We can still have our, our, our fun time. Um, so, you know, hopefully this is kind of in that spirit of saying, you know, I don't know. Um, goodness knows what strange things gets mailed to Studio Cara on a daily basis. So. <laughs> Quit it with the tentacles. We don't want anymore. Thank you. Yes. We afford it to Anno, and he says... Technically impressive, but please don't send. You know, <laughs> I appreciate his, your your enthusiasm, but no. no. Here's his three page critique of your art. You know? <laughs> here's some strong points. Here's some weak points. Exactly. How to make your point better? Here you exactly. Go. Um, moving on to something decidedly um, uh, less adult. Um, <laughs> uh, Studio Ghibli kicks off the new year every January with an annual illustration from Hayao Miyazaki. And judging by this year's image, even the studio and director known for uplifting and heartwarming stories had some distinctly unkind feelings towards 2020. This year's image features 2021, the year of the ox, stomping on a mask-wearing monster. Let's hope that sentiment actually carries through to the new year and the troubles of 2020 get eliminated. Best of all, this year's image was posted on the brand new Studio Ghibli official Twitter account. The account posted an introduction in English under the 2021 image saying, and I quote, Happy New Year, everyone. We have just started Studio Ghibli's official Twitter account. We will be sharing information about new works and small events happen at the studio. Sick. Um, please check here for latest updates, end quote. The account, which has already gathered about 300,000 followers since New Year's, can be found at JP underscore Ghibli. So that is a thing that now exists. New Year's was yesterday. <laughs> right. 
<laughs> yeah. <laughs> I was just going to say. 300,000. Know, impressive. Wow. Uh-huh. <laughs> Give it about uh, three weeks, and let's see if it crosses over the 100 million mark. Mm-hmm. <laughs> um, I, it is interesting that they post in English. Um, and it, not interesting in the sense of surprising, um, but I think it's very smart for them to start out by yeah. saying, hey, this is an international you know, yeah. Twitter account. Presumably, this isn't just going to be like, I have to follow Katakawa anime. And it's just all Japanese. And I'm like, this is nice, but... Um, so presumably, though, you know, you'll actually be able to understand what they're, <laughs> what they're tweeting about. Well, also, too, I mean... Picture, gosh, no could context. You, yeah, could you imagine <clears throat> trying to coordinate, like, mm. just take the top 50 languages yeah. in the world and try and coordinate, <sighs> okay, here's the Japanese Twitter release. Now, you people go and translate it 50 different times mm-hmm. in, and make it contextually understandable to the audiences you're sending. No, screw it. Send it in English. Yep. Let them yeah. figure it out on the other end this way. Yep, exactly. I'm still surprised. It's 2021. Thank goodness it's 2021. <laughs> um, but it's 2021, and they're just launching a Twitter now? It, that's mm-hmm. what I was thinking. I was like, didn't they wow. have one? Mm-hmm. I was, I, at first, I was just like, well... Actually, not that is, I know of. Not, this is actually, in a way, when you think about it, not surprising. Yeah, they I were mean, they were waiting for it to prove itself before they threw yeah. the hat in the <laughs> ring. I guess. I guess. Um, well, and granted, you know, if I'm Studio Ghibli, it should be it should be pointed out the the um, their tweets are not all English. Um, right. Some of them are Japanese, some of them are not. Um, but I do wonder if there's a certain amount of okay, what do we do with a Twitter account? What does a Studio Ghibli Twitter account post? Um, and how do we deal with people sending us, um, let's just say, certain fan art of certain Studio Ghibli characters, right? right? Like, like all this right. kind of stuff where it's like, we are now surfing the sea of the internet and the net is vast and infinite. Like, nah. So maybe they're just like, let's, let's hold off until we, we figure something out. Um, so I do not know. Um, I do know... Um, that they retweeted a um, um, something by um, let's see here um, they retweeted some, something by, from somebody which is you know, apparently more than, more than a random person so they are active it's not just a uh, link dump yeah exactly Here's our thing. Yeah. <laughs> mm-hmm. so who knows it, which would be yeah. easier to deal with if it was just a link dump link yeah. You know. yeah. so there will be a lot of people in there trying to get attention. Hi, hi, hey, hey. <laughs> so just imagine, you know, six months ago, Ghibli posted, presumably, somewhere, a job opening for Studio Ghibli social media you know, manager. Oh, Jesus. You imagine with having that job. Oh, yeah. What video game requirements level <laughs> do you have to yeah. get to, you know? Yeah. You must have delivered 100% of the packages in Kiki's delivery service the game. Mm-hmm. And <laughs> how many Ghibli movies must you... And that's actually an interesting thing. Like, you know, and again, if you're a social media manager for Ghibli, like, you better have seen their movies. <laughs> right? right. Like, you, know, right. you should probably have that context. Um, interesting. All right. Um, yes, I've there seen we go. everything by Studio Giblet and this guy, Mr. <laughs> Misamaki. Yeah. I, I love Misamaki films. They're awesome. Mm-hmm. Yes. Uh, next? Mm-hmm. Yes. Uh, yeah. I love Japanimation. It's great. Um, <laughs> also this week, various stories that are worth mentioning, but uh, we're not necessarily going to dive into in too much detail unless we really want to. Um, a couple of weeks ago, we talked about the massive rise of anime viewership this year on Netflix. This week, TV Asahi's All Nippon News Network posted a YouTube video about Netflix anime, which revealed that Japanese animation consistently ranks in the top 10 most watched types of programs worldwide. Um, also includes a behind the scenes look into Wit Studio, known for Tech on Titan and many other things, um, which is also producing uh, Vampire in the Garden, uh, an anime which will premiere sometime next year. Or, yeah, this year. This year. 2021. Um, Kanacha's magazine Pocket Service announced this week that Keigo Maki's romantic comedy manga Shikimori is not just a cutie, is inspiring an anime adaptation. Um, uh, magazine Pocket released the first volume of the, of the manga for free online in celebration and is also giving away an autographed art reproduction and five autographed t shirts on Twitter. 
Um, it's described as a fun and funny high school romance with a sassy twist. Um, let's see here. Um, this, mark, this year marks the 20th anniversary of the creepy, cute, pink, man-eating bear character, Gloomy Bear. <laughs> We're anime fans. We can say these things and believe them. Um, <laughs> to celebrate, the character is getting a TV anime adaptation wow. set to premiere in April titled Gloomy the Naughty Grizzly. Uh, the new its new YouTube channel is also showing new personal Trimacy video. Hey, um, <laughs> uh, the YouTube channel does have English subtitles and tells the story of Gloomy and his owner meeting. Uh, the character first debuted way back in two thousand as an antithesis to other overly cute characters, and expresses the creator's beliefs that animals are wild by nature and incompatible with humans. Even though he was rescued by a human when he was young, Gloomy is still a wild animal and often bites or scratches his owner once he grows up. Uh, it's inspired a lot of merchandise over the years, as well as a trial anime, animated short back in 2014. Studio 4C revealed this week it's producing an anime film adaptation of Kanako Nishi's Nikuko, sorry, Nikuko of the Fishing Harbor novel. It'll open in Japan in early summer with direction by Oyumu Watanabe, who previously directed Children of the Sea. The human drama novel was first published in 2014, follows a mother and daughter who live on a boat and their growth on different paths through life. Last up, a new anime announcements for this week. Anime studio Fanworks, known for Agretuko and Sumikogurashi, is collaborating with Aniplex, sorry, Aniplex, and Sony Creative Products to create the new original short anime, Dinosaur Biori. Um, it'll begin airing in April and follows the daily lives of three dinosaurs in the modern day who live as roommates, despite having vastly different personalities. But will they get along? <laughs> Though they may have once eaten other dinosaurs or even faced extinction, they now spend relaxing days working part-time jobs or eating sweets together in their apartment in the dinosaur apartment complex. <laughs> and let's be honest, if Jesus and Buddha could live together, why not these dinosaurs? Finally, Kanakawa announced this week wow. that the 15th volume of Kiyohiko Azuma's Slice of Life manga series, Yotsubato, will finally, finally be published on February 27th. The 14th volume was released nearly three years ago in April of 2018, and the one before that in November of 2015, so it seems like the fans are probably used to the long wait by now. This one isn't. Uh, the manga began the serialization back in 2003 and follows the everyday lives of strange little girl Yotsuba and her father after they moved to a new town. It is the, uh, uh, it, it was the sort of follow-up work to Azumanga Daio. Mm. At the time of the 14th mm. volume was released three years ago, the series published nearly 14 million copies in Japan and 3 million abroad, and has been translated into 13 different languages. And that is it down there. That is volumes 1 through 14 of wow. Yotsubato, because I'm a fan of that, and I'm looking forward to seeing wow. uh, the next volume yeah. of that I, series. I enjoyed Yeah. Oh, I did. 